This right here is the fourth generation of the Jeep Grand Cherokee, and this is the fifth. Now you will still see the iconic seven slot grille, but there is a distinctive difference between the two grilles. In the fourth generation, it slants backwards, giving the front end a rounder shape. But in the fifth generation, the grille sits more upright, giving the front a more square shape. Or, as per Jeep tradition, it's shaped like a brick. The headlights have also been slightly redesigned. They are thinner overall, the LED strip runs only at the top instead of all around, and it also doubles as the turn indicator light. The rear lights have not been forgotten about either. They are much sleeker than in its predecessor, giving it a much cleaner look. The redesign initially came with the launch of the Jeep Grand Cherokee L, which also added a third row of seats. Later, the regular two-row Grand Cherokee also received the redesign. The interior has seen many changes as well, and they're all for the better. The seats look and feel much nicer, and the trim on the door panels and along the dashboard is just beautiful. The steering wheel has also changed, and now it looks like something out of a Land Rover. The Jeep logo is smaller and much cleaner, giving the whole interior a much more serious and grown-up look. The instrument cluster is a fully digital 10-inch screen, which can be customized to display all the important information you'll need as you're driving. The gear shift is now a chrome clad dial, and the terrain selector is just flat next to it, the same as the ride height selector. Fortunately, they kept all the climate control buttons here as physical buttons instead of hiding them in the depths of the touchscreen display. However, you can still access them through there if you wish. Speaking of the touchscreen display, the Jeep Grand Cherokee is no longer limited to the 8.4 inch touchscreen display as it has been enlarged to 10.1 inches. Now, the new Jeeps will be running Uconnect 5 system, which looks slightly different than the fourth generation Uconnect 4. My favorite thing about Uconnect 5 is how much more customizable it is. You can add your favorite widgets to the homepage so you can access them quickly and get all the information you need on the fly. Another feature that is new to the Jeep lineup is the passenger screen. This takes the co-pilot seat to the next level. One of my favorite features about this is the navigation system. You can set the destination from the passenger screen and then send it over to the driver. The driver accepts the navigation instructions on their end and they will then get turn by turn directions to the instrument cluster. If you need to add a stop, you can easily do that and then send updated instructions over to the driver. You can also check the back seats with the fam cam to make sure everyone is behaving back there. Speaking of back seats, the Grand Cherokee L has four of them, while the normal Grand Cherokee, the usual three. Now, Folding the middle seats is really handy. Just pull this lever, it folds out nicely out of the way, giving you lots of room to access the third row seats. Now these two buttons right here let you fold up or down the third row seats. Handy. The third row also gets USB ports, so your passengers can charge their devices back there. Back at the back of the Jeep, this one comes equipped with the remote tailgate release. And these buttons right here let you fold down the second and third row seats. It's perfect. With changes to the interior and the exterior, the new redesigned Jeep Grand Cherokee delivers both in looks and performance. I have driven both vehicles and I have to say, I like the new one the best. My name is Mark, thank you for watching.